I'm Steve from Ellis Brigham, this is Mark, and we're here to talk about the Atomic Vantage 79Ti. So first thing, a bit of tech info, and that's going to come to you from Atomic. This is the Atomic Vantage 79Ti ski. This is our premium high-end all-mountain ski from Atomic for this season. It features our lightwood core technology, but with our ProLite technology. ProLite technology basically reduces the swing weight in the ski by creating these windows in the tip and the tail. So it reduces the swing weight of the ski, but it doesn't compromise the edge hold of the ski. So that's a really good thing if you're on hard packed snow conditions and you need a bit more edge grip. The ski features our uh, titanium tank mesh throughout the ski, which is a milled titanium layer so it provides very good pop, very good stability, torsional flex as well, and provides you with more performance if you're a more advanced skier. The Vantage 79Ti is very much our, our, our key width. 79 underfoot, it goes really well in all all mountain piece conditions. Right, now you're armed with the tech spec and what's going on inside the ski. Um, going to tell you a little bit more about how it feels. We obviously like this ski uh, because we've given it the runner-up in all mountain category and the reason for that is because it's got a massive lackability bracket basically. So you could be an intermediate and you're going to get something from this ski or you could be an advanced skier and you're going to get something from it. Um, it's easy to use, that's the first thing I want to say about it. So when I'm skiing this on piste it's easy, I'm not having to think too much about my skiing, but if I want to ski fast and I want to ski more aggressively, it's still going to do that for me. And also, the thing that I love about this ski is that even though it's working on piece, when I'm playing around down the side in the rubbish snow, maybe going in and out of trees, um, trying to find some fresh bits, it'll do that for me, it still feels really balanced. And as I said right at the beginning, I don't need to worry about whether I'm skiing it fast or skiing it slow, it's very, very, intuitive ski just put it on your feet and ski and enjoy it and it's not too pricey either but Mark as someone that maybe skis a bit faster what do you think? So I think it's a very capable piece orientated ski um, you know there's lots of tech in, inside it to, to make it kind of shine when you want to push it a bit faster um, you know it's lots of visible tech too so you can see it up here it's got a bit of metal in it carbon in it wood so all things that kind of when you combine them together make a decent ski or a ski suited for higher end skiers um, it it compared to most skis you know the shape of it does allow it to kind of just jump off to the side so if you want to have a play about in the slightly softer snow condition or you know if it's kind of a bit cruddy at the end of the day then it's brilliant um, where it kind of differs to a traditional kind of piece ski i think is that it's, it's less punishing on the legs. It's a lot more forgiving. Um, so if you were kind of looking at maybe a head rally or uh, a magnum and you're a bit put off by kind of, you're a bit worried that it was a bit too high end for you, then you perhaps should be looking at something like the Vantage 79 Ti. What do you reckon? Yeah, definitely. I mean, um, 79 underfoot will do most jobs for everyone. And as I said, I, I, I think it's a really good ski. And for the price, I think it's absolutely outstanding. So, big for me, a good ski is one that's got either a big performance bracket or a big ability bracket. It'll go to a lot of places, or it'll suit a lot of people, and this ski will do it. So you're gonna have very happy intermediates, you're gonna have very happy advanced skiers on it. You can you can push the ski, you'd be surprised just how hard. Um, you got any comments on it? Pop them below. Got any questions? Let us know and we'll come back to you. Thank you for listening.